Welcome to our Koala Journal. Oh wait, scratch that. Welcome to our travel journal. As we embark on an adventure through Australia, encountering koalas, wombats, bulls and so much more. Having explored the wonders of Western and Southern Australia, this week we are diving into our experiences in the Melbourne region. But first, look at what or who we met on the way. Guys, what are you doing? Uh, chilling. You're chilling? Eating. Eating? What else? Mm. Are you observing something? Mm. What are you observing? Airport. Planes. Where's the plane? So, Seeing koalas in the wild is pretty extraordinary for us, but watching DIY radio-controlled aircrafts is very interesting for the boys as well. Our real journey begins at Wilson Promontory National Park though, where we tackled the heights of Mount Oberon, immersed ourselves in the tranquility of a nature walk and embraced the thrill of sandboarding at the Big Drift, racing down some sand dunes. Happy Easter! Happy Easter! Hello! From uh, Wilson's Promontory National Park. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty crowded today because of the Easter long weekend. But we still decided to come here. And at the parking there are free bus rides up to the start of the trail. Like a shuttle bus. Like a shuttle bus. Um, it's like maybe 10, 10 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes drive up and then you can um, do the hike to the mountain peak. Mount Auburn. <laughs> <laughs> Which should take about one hour, 15 minutes. Or, what? To get up? To yeah. get up and then same, maybe a bit faster down. Yeah. But it's like three kilometers up, right? Yeah, I think all in all it should be like 6.8 kilometers okay. in length, um, going up and down. And we have some sandwiches with us here in the backpack. So we packed some lunch and that's what the kids are looking forward to. They're actually in front of us, racing a little bit because they are looking forward to some sandwiches. <laughs> should be easy. After Kilimanjaro and hiking in Nepal, this should be like a easy. easy exercise. Oder Malik? <laughs> <laughs> You almost made it, you're almost up. So if you are afraid of heights like Alpai, the last part of the mountain hike might be a challenge for you. He still made it up though and together we enjoyed the view. Not just down into the landscapes around, but also observing people, of which many spoke Hindi and reminded us of our time in India.
update. Update. <laughs> we just took a shower. <laughs> we used the facilities of the campground, Tidal River Campground, here at the Wilson's Promontory um, National Park. And we are we are very thankful for the opportunity to yeah take a good warm shower um, after being self-sufficient here uh, in our caravan motor home um, and then we also charged up some of our devices and now the even though the sun is slowly coming down um, I think we still have like two hours left of sun today so the, the day is not over yet and uh, we still have some program to go where yeah. do we want to go first um first to the wild walk yeah nature nature, nature walk, walk. <laughs> <laughs> nature walk it's supposed to be like a 20 minute walk um on our way out of the the national park again and we hope to see some animals um, people say in the google reviews that there are kangaroos for sure that they um, always see emus as well we hope to see maybe some wombats or koalas maybe so that would be really cool and then the kids also want to um, go to the so-called big drift which is like a huge sand dune because they heard from a couple that we met yesterday uh, who went who came here like two three days ago um, and they uh, yeah told us a little bit about their time here and they had a lot of fun on those dunes and pretty much sandboarding so the boys really want to go sandboarding there yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. no we're just waiting for Lila to actually leave Have you ever heard of wombats? We only did after our grandparents came back from a vacation in Australia. They are actually one of the iconic Australian animals that can be found in Wilson's Promontory National Park. They are sturdy marsupials, primarily nocturnal creatures, but sometimes when you are lucky you might catch a glimpse of them during the day, particularly in the early morning or late afternoon. Within the park, wombats can often be spotted foraging for grasses and roots, using their strong claws and powerful teeth to dig burrows and search for food. These burrows, which can be quite extensive, serve as their shelter from predators and harsh weather conditions. Although wombats are generally docile animals, the kids know that as visitors they should always maintain a respectful distance and refrain from approaching or disturbing them. Ah. Hey. Vielleicht hat er Babys und... 
Warte. Rutsch. Dark. I can't see anything <laughs> because I'm blinded here. We are hiking ah. at night in Australia and we just met a fox and we just saw a wombat <laughs> which was really surprised to see us <laughs> really close. <laughs> and why are we walking at night? Well, we set out for sand dunes at the Big Drift. Still in the promontory, uh, Wilson's Promontory National Park or something like that. And when we arrived at the car park, the sun just set. And we knew that it would take maybe 30 minutes to get to the sand dunes. But the boys really, really, really wanted to go sandboarding. So we took out our bodyboard. Yeah, um, yeah this one. <laughs> Uh, out of the trunk and ran. <laughs> we really did like a. I can't really see where I'm walking here. Um, we, we ran for the sand dunes and we were lucky enough there was still a little bit light left for sandboarding. <laughs> so yeah, but now it's really pitch black, dark, and um, uh, the moment up I turns of the, the flashlight or torch or whatever you want to call this here, um, you won't see anything despite the stars above us. Ja, kannst du mal ausmachen. Dark, dark. Da hinten ist noch ein bisschen Licht, aber... Halt mal fest, ich muss ausmachen. From the serene landscapes, we ventured to an annual event that I had just seen a road sign of. The exhilarating Lang Lang Rodeo, a popular celebration of Australia's rich agricultural heritage and the unique skill and bravery of rodeo competitors held in the town of Lang Lang. We experienced the event features a variety of traditional rodeo competitions including bull riding, bronc riding, barrel racing and team roping. 
Entertainment such as live music, food stalls and family friendly activities are included and make it a fun filled day out for people of all ages. What do you think when you see scenes like this? Is it exhilarating for you? Or do you worry about the cowboys and cowgirls? Or do you rather think of the animal's well-being? We are curious to hear about your thoughts. So please leave us a comment below. So guys, how was the rodeo? Rodeo. <laughs> it was so cool and the best was bull riding. The bull riding was the yeah. best? Mm. For you too, Manik? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I and think you? I most like barrel racing. Barrel racing, okay. Because they were so quick? Yeah. Cool. So you guys had fun? Yeah. Yeah. You want to see that again? Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> and you want to play cowboy now? Yeah. 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 <laughs> For us, it was a fun day out, experiencing a part of Aussie culture that we didn't even know existed. No Australian adventure would be complete without encountering the iconic koalas. On Raymond Island, we were fortunate to observe many of these charming creatures in their natural habitat. A truly unforgettable experience. I'm looking at koalas, active koalas. Uh, we are here on Raymond Island. Um, we just took the ferry for like, you know, it takes like a minute, maybe two. Um, and for pedestrians, it's for free. 
And in the reviews, I saw that people wrote like there are koalas on every tree. Well, the first one or two streets, we didn't see any, but now really pretty much on every tree, there's at least one koala. And now we have even one tree, but there are three, a mom with a small one and another big one, all on the same tree. It's so cute. We stopped counting at 20, but Raymond Island's koala population is one of the most concentrated and accessible in Australia, with estimates suggesting there are around 200 koalas residing on the island. The area is home to a network of walking tracks and trails that wind through the koala habitat, allowing you to explore the island while keeping an eye out for these furry inhabitants. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more adventures, more wildlife encounters and new unforgettable memories next Sunday here on Our Travel Journal.